Well, the Stanley Cup playoffs are taking the night off. All of uh, those games will continue tomorrow. Among the NBA games tonight, Chicago Bulls will be hosting the Milwaukee Bucks. St. Louis Cardinals playing now at Montreal. The Cubbies in Philadelphia tonight. WDNL. We're going to find out what's happening in the world of Hollywood on the Hollywood Papers. Today we got stories about Bobby Blake. And we'll have a list of the top ten movies. But first, the Oscars have given new life into what could have been a picture passed over by the movie going public. Of course, the average 16 to 25 year old. Armadeus, the story of Mozart that won eight Oscars, including Best Picture, has added another $6 million to its gross. But it is hardly a top movie. In fact, we'll be going through the top ten movies in just a bit. Robert Blake got his start in the old Our Gang comedies when he was just a child. Then went on to play an Indian character named Little Beaver in the old Red Rider series with Fred Harper. Then he was billed as... Bobby Blake, motion pictures like in Cold Blood, Town Without Pity, furthered his career. But it wasn't until ABC's Beretta that he scored in the star category department. Well, Robert Blake is coming back in a TV series called Helltown in which he will play a priest in a ghetto parish. Should be interesting, and it should be on NBC this fall. Top ten movies. Here's the list, starting at number ten. Movie, of course, you'll want to see. The Care Bears movie, at number nine, Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Number eight, Beverly Hills Cops, still in the top ten, doing quite well. At number seven, Cat's Eye. At number six, The Company of Wolves. At number five, Desperately Seeking Susan. Number four movie, the one with Cher, called Mask. At number three, Lady Hawk, supposed to be a good film. Number two, Moving Violations. And speaking of violations... And moving violations. Number one saw, or number one movie, I should say, this last week, Police Academy 2. And there they are, the top ten motion pictures. Good weekend to see a movie, huh? Coming up next, the Commodores and their salute to Marvin Gaye and Jackie Wilson from WDNL. Enjoy lunch at one of Danville's finest new restaurants and get the house beverage free. It's House of Hudan, where you can sample different authentic Chinese entrees every day of the week. Today's features are chicken with plum sauce or sweet and sour pork, plus soup, egg roll, and tea, all just three and a quarter. House of Hudan has banquet facilities for those special gatherings, and Visa and MasterCard are accepted. To receive your free house beverage, just mention D-102 when you go for lunch today at House of Hunan, 3638 North Vermilion. If you're picky about the jeans you wear, pick out your jeans at Bottoms Up, now open on the alley on the downtown mall. Choose from all the top brands of jeans and tops for both men and women. Names like Calvin Klein, Jordache, Gloria Vanderbilt, and more. Shop Monday through Saturday from 10 to 5 and be listening for details about the grand opening on May 11th when you could win one of two $100 gift certificates. Tops and jeans for picky people. That's what you'll find at Bottoms Up, now open on the alley just off the downtown mall. Now is the time to get your car in shape for carefree summer driving. But you don't have to waste the sunshine hanging around a garage. Take your car to Ingram's Quick Lube for a 10-minute oil change. For only $17.25, you'll get a 10-minute oil change that includes oil, filter, lube job, and 12-point safety check. And as usual, there's no appointment necessary at Ingram's Quick Lube 10-minute oil change. Located at 216 South Gilbert next to Long John Silver's. It's cheaper to change your oil than to change your engine. D-102 is WDNL. Hello, hello, Big Rod here. We're getting ready to listen to another episode of On the Radio. Are the lights out? Good. Doors closed? Blinds drawn? That's the only way to listen to On the Radio. Join us when the superstar guest will be Duran Duran's founding father, Nick Rhodes, and you'll decide which is your favorite of two bands that are on tour together right now. Of course, the latest gossip, the top five songs in the week, and much more. So turn up the volume this weekend and join us on the radio. 
Brought to you by your friends at Nexus Professional Hair and Skin Care Products. Available in salons everywhere. On the radio. On the radio is on your radio on Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Be sure and tune in. Big Ron O'Brien on the radio right here on WDNL. Friday afternoon, once again, friends. Didn't think it'd ever get here, huh? Almost the weekend. Could be a wet weekend, too. We'll be checking out the weather in a bit. Right now, the Commodores. WDNL, where Uncle Bob Taylor returns tomorrow morning with more of the best music, 6 to noon. Tomorrow at noon, Bill Boober Lacombe, and then tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, it's Dick Bartley on Solid Gold, Saturday night. From the best station. WDNL, kind of a crummy weather forecast. I wish it was a little nicer. Uh, got about a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight. Overnight, low 58. 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Tomorrow's high 75. 83 now with John Fogarty. WDNL and sports headlines. Well, the NFL draft is just four days away. Teams continue to work trades to shore up their rosters. The Green Bay Packers today acquired Scott Bruner from the Denver Broncos as insurance for injury plague starting quarterback Lynn Dickey. Turning to the USFL, the Who Cares Anyway Football League, Los Angeles Express President Don Klosterman says there's a chance that his team will be disbanded at Monday's league owners meeting. The Express is currently being kept on track by the USFL's other 13 owners who've been paying the team's operating expenses since last July. And there is USFL action tonight at Denver. All six people will be there. The Gold will be hosting the Memphis Showboats. Baseball action. One game in progress this afternoon involving the St. Louis Cardinals. They're playing up at Montreal. Cubbies will be at Philadelphia tonight. Cincinnati playing at San Francisco. And among the games in the American League, New York Yankees playing up with the White Sox tonight. NBA playoffs tonight. Milwaukee Bucks will be taking on the Chicago Bulls. It's a do-or-die situation for the Bulls where the Bucks lead the series at two games to one. And uh, each division series, best of seven, Stanley Cup playoffs, they will be resuming again tomorrow. The spring 1985 designs from the Southern Furniture Shows are so refreshing and unusual that Turk Furniture has been buying them like crazy. I'm Bob Bell, manager of Turk Furniture, and we have a $5 million problem. Our stores and warehouses are filled to capacity with over $5 million worth of exciting, famous brand name furniture that we have to sell. The sooner the better. Buying in volume for five stores really does enable Turk Furniture to offer you good furniture at lower prices and bigger savings. For example, twin, full, and queen-size sleepers in contemporary plaid or traditional stripe, your choice at one low price of just $398. Check out the sensational sofas in contemporary, colonial, or traditional styles, just $499. Buying in volume really does enable Turk Furniture to offer you great furniture at lower prices. Stop in today and take advantage of huge overstocks and reduced prices on beautiful furnishings for your home. Turk Furniture, 200 North Vermillion in downtown Danville. May I ask you a personal question? I guess so. What do you think of that old floor in your kitchen? <laughs> oh, 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 please, rats, rats, yuck. I oh. uh, don't like it much, huh? It's boring. Armstrong will pay you for it. Wait, Armstrong will pay me for that old thing? Come yep. On. Armstrong will pay you $2 a square yard for your old floor when you buy any one of more than 150 beautiful new Armstrong no-wax floors. Gee, let's see, $2, $4, $8, $24. Hey, my old floor can be worth a lot of money. Right. But it's going to be kind of hard to take it up and bring it in. Don't have to. Just give us the measurements, and we'll give you $2 a square yard when you buy a new Armstrong no-wax floor. Well, that's the best idea I've heard for this yucky floor in years. Now, where can I go to get the money for my old floor? I know just the place. 
Go to Goff Rug Company, 419 East Main, for this special Armstrong offer. That's Goff Rug Company, 419 East Main. But hurry, this offer ends May 18th. day today 85 gorgeous friday afternoon degrees things looking quite nice got a great hour coming up too we'll be hearing from peaches and herb madonna debarge billy ocean fleetwood max steven stills good oldie from 1970 what was it 71 i think also we'll be hearing from foreigner from the agent provocateur lp all coming up before four o'clock this afternoon from wdnl No preservatives. Miller beer. Purity you can see, quality you can taste. Miller's made the American way. Miller's made the American way. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We got tired of hearing about our friends' brilliant investments in real estate. Yeah, like I'm saving on taxes. Mm -hmm. My money is working. The, the property's growing, growing in value. value. <laughs> so finally, we did something brilliant. We called our Century 21 office. Their investment professional knew all the ropes, and we soon realized it takes more than money to invest in real estate. It takes a trained investment professional. And now we're saving on taxes. Our money is working and our property's growing in value. And now our friends are hearing about our brilliant investments in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> All you got to do is pick up the phone. Put number one to work for you. Century 21. Call a Century 21 investment professional at a Danville area office today. Let them show you how real estate investments can help provide a more secure future for you and your family. Each office independently owned and operated. I'm John Llewellyn telling you you'll save more money this weekend in Danville than anywhere in the United States when you buy a waterbed at Furniture Corner Bedroom Center at the corner of Collett and Main. We just lost our lease in Kankakee and brought all of the merchandise to Danville for a super liquidation sale. There are no gimmicks, no freebies, no come-ons. You buy only what you need at the lowest prices ever. It's worth your time, effort, and gasoline to see the highest quality waterbeds at unbelievable low prices, as low as $89. Hurry, don't miss the sale this weekend at Furniture Corner Bedroom Center, 801 East Main, Danville. WDNL. WDNL in the Assembly Hall give you a chance to be a winner of Foreigner concert tickets when they appear on Wednesday, May 8th. Just stop in and register at any one of the following locations. Star Stereo, O'Leary's Pub, Chart Records and Tapes, Bottoms Up on the Mall downtown. You might be a winner. Friday afternoon, what a way to get into the weekend, huh? But unfortunately, uh, along with uh, the sunny skies and warm temperatures, well, we got a chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight. In fact, uh, about a 60% chance under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight's low, 58. 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms in your body tomorrow. Tomorrow's high, 75. 
right now, 85 D102. The spring 1985 designs from the Southern Furniture Shows are so refreshing and unusual that Turk Furniture has been buying them like crazy. I'm Bob Bell, manager of Turk Furniture, and we have a $5 million problem. Our stores and warehouses are filled to capacity with over $5 million worth of exciting, famous brand name furniture that we have to sell. The sooner the better. Buying in volume for five stores really does enable Turk Furniture to offer you good furniture at lower prices and bigger savings. For example, twin, full, and queen-size sleepers in contemporary plaid or traditional stripe, your choice at one low price of just $398. Check out the sensational sofas in contemporary colonial or traditional styles, just $499. Buying in volume really does enable Turk Furniture to offer you great furniture at lower prices. Stop in today and take advantage of huge overstocks and reduce Reduced prices on beautiful furnishings for your home. Turk Furniture, 200 North Vermillion in downtown Danville. They quit. That's right. After 25 years of business in Westville, the general store is calling it quits. The liquidator says everything must be sold, so nothing will be held back. New merchandise ordered previously is still coming in and being marked down instantly, including lots of new women's tops in summer styles. You'll save up to 50% and more on seasonal merchandise for men, women, and children. All sales are final, so hurry in for the best selection at the General Store, south of Danville, on the Georgetown Road. Jack and Barb Montgerard of The Music Man would like to introduce you to their fine music teaching staff. Doug Covington on banjo, John Henry on percussion, Troy King on guitar, Bill Jean on brass, Lisa Hillary on woodwind, and Michelle Palmer on flute. This group of musicians can teach anyone from beginner to advanced students. Music Man is celebrating their first anniversary with savings of 10% throughout the store. And be sure to register to win a free electric guitar with case at The Music Man, 803 Oak Street. WDNL and Doug Quick with this reminder for you. Rich Farm High School will be presenting the musical called Family Ties tonight and again tomorrow at the Rich Farm High School Gymnasium. Taking you home with Madonna from Vision Quest. We're crazy for you. WDNL at 102.1 FM with Stephen Stills. If you're not with the one you love, just love the one you're with. Interesting philosophy, huh? Stephen Stills from WDNL. Coming up next week, the Allied Van Lines Move to Freedom Statue of Liberty exhibit will be at the Village Mall. We will be there too. That's Wednesday and Thursday. I used to think that love was just a fairy tale. Doug Quick and the best music at 335. WDNL congratulating a couple of local sports figures this afternoon. Stacy Calhoun has been named by the Illinois Basketball Coaches Association as a first-team All-Stater. She'll be playing in the All-State basketball game coming up June 22nd in Chicago. Stacy was the team leader this year for the Oakwood Girls Comets and led the conference in scoring. Also from Oakwood, head girls basketball coach Mike Waters was named Illinois Basketball Coaches Association District 13 Coach of the Year. Congratulations to both of you. In other sports, well, let's talk baseball. Why not? New York Yankees playing the Chicago White Sox later on tonight up at Comiskey Field. St. Louis Cardinals currently playing up at Montreal. The Cubbies at Philadelphia a little bit later tonight, as well as Cincinnati playing at San Francisco. And the NBA tonight, among the games, Milwaukee playing the Chicago Bulls. It's do or die tonight for the Chicago Bulls, where the Bucks lead that series at two games to one. Stanley Cup playoffs continue uh, well, actually, they will continue tomorrow. And by the way, last night, the Blackhawks beat the Minnesota North Stars in a double overtime, 7-6. to six. What a game, huh? Coming up next, the barge from uh, the motion picture soundtrack album called The Last Dragon. Diet 7-Up, it's got 
no diet after taste. It's got no caffeine, no, no, there's never been. Diet 7 Up. No artificial color, no artificial flavor, and the biggest news of all. Now there's no saccharin in Diet 7 Up. No saccharin, no saccharin in Diet 7 Up. Try new Diet 7-Up, the taste that's crisp, clean, always refreshing. And now with 100% Nutrisweet and no saccharin, Diet 7-Up tastes better than ever. Diet 7-Up may be the best taste to diet soft drink ever. Tell me what you see. I see you going to the prom in handsome white tails. White tails? Last year I wanted a set so badly, couldn't find them. They're here at Sino. Sino has the in look this year. White tails starting at just $39.95. Or check out the many other tuxedo styles and colors. Either way, Sino has what you want. Tell me, will I pass chemistry? My crystal ball is becoming very cloudy. Sino Formal Wear, 147 North Vermilion, Danville. Surprise someone special with an evening of great dining and intimate atmosphere at the Beef House, where the quality is everything you expect, with no surprises. From tender filet mignon to steaming lobster, every menu selection is the same fine quality that has earned the Beef House its great reputation. You and your someone special deserve the best, so enjoy a perfect evening together at the Beef House, I-74 at State Route 63. WDNL. The barge giving you the rhythm of the night from WDNL. We're giving you the weather forecast. Uh, nice afternoon, but wait till tonight. Mostly cloudy skies moving in with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Overnight low 58. Kind of a wet day tomorrow, too, probably. 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow's high, 75. Right now, 85 at D102. Loving you isn't the right thing to do. WDNL and Doug Quick getting ready, too, if not already. Driving you home on a Friday, getting you into the weekend. Coming up next hour, more of the best music from James Taylor, Eric Clapton from the Behind the Sun LP, and Emotion, the Commodores, Steve Miller Band, Quarter Flash, John Fogarty, Charday, Don Henley, Paul Simon. Got a great hour coming up. Stay with us. Jack and Barb Montgerard of The Music Man would like to introduce you to their fine music teaching staff. Doug Covington on banjo, John Henry on percussion, Troy King on guitar, Bill Jean on brass, Lisa Hillary on woodwind, and Michelle Palmer on flute. This group of musicians can teach anyone from beginner to advanced students. Music Man is celebrating their first anniversary with savings of 10% throughout the store. And be sure to register to win a free electric guitar with case at The Music Man, 803 Oak Street. You want to know what I hate about mowing the lawn? Everything. First, I spend forever trying to start the stupid mower. When it finally starts, it nearly jerks my arms off. If it doesn't die before I make one lap around the yard, it's a miracle. Then I look back to discover that instead of cutting the grass, it's just bending it over. So I ask myself, haven't you done without a Toro long enough? The answer is yes. I'm going to the Toro Sales Parts and Service Headquarters. L&M Moore Shop, just off South Gilbert at 15 West 4th Street. On the record, I'm Gary McKenzie. Eighty senators have sponsored a measure asking President Reagan to cancel the visit to a German military cemetery. His visit to uh, Bitburg, uh, I think, offends many American veterans who uh, fought in uh, World War II and fought against uh, the SS, and it obviously dishonors the memory of six million Jews who lost their lives. And Senator Kennedy says it's clearly the president who makes the decision on his itinerary. Senate Majority Leader Bob Dole also signed the resolution saying the record's clear. This is not an effort to jump on the president. Just yesterday, the majority of the House signed a letter to the West German Chancellor asking him to cancel the visit, a request rejected this morning. An elderly Navajo woman honored by President Reagan today for saving lives on a burning school bus, Mechi Castillo, dressed in tribal garb, speaking through an interpreter,
Said life on the reservation is tough, not even the basic necessities. Mrs. Castillo pleaded with the president not to cut federal programs like Social Security, calling them the only source of income for many old people. After it was over, Castillo was dressed down by a White House aide. You know, it just, there was no, no diplomacy at all. It was just absolute rudeness on her part. Dan Lewis with the Navajo Nation says aide Ann Lewis refused to accept a blanket and a basket the woman had made for the first family. A Soviet military attaché given seven days to leave the country. The State Department says the order is given in response to the killing of a U.S. Army officer by a Soviet sentry in East Germany last month. This is news from United Stations. A new abortion study finds declining abortion rates among married women. The Guttmacher Institute figures more couples are choosing sterilization. About 70% of abortions are obtained by white women, but since about 85% of women in the population...